Pamela Phillips' trial takes an interesting turn today. It is day seven of the trial, and it was all about digging into well, emails, kind of faxes, and computer NSA. forensics emails exchanges. This is between Phillips and convicted hitman Ronald Young. Now, on your side's Corey Marshall has been following this trial. She was inside the courtroom. She joins us live. Corey. Yeah, Stella, today's focus turned its, or today's testimony turned its focus toward convicted hitman Ronald Young. As you may recall, a jury convicted Young in the killing of Gary Tirano back in 2010. Today, a former friend and colleague, George Rombach, testifying today. Now, the prosecution questioning primarily surrounded a conversation Rombach had with Young sometime in the late 70s to early 80s on his boat. According to earlier statements made to police and referenced during today's portion of the trial, Young asked Rombach about cannons he had on the boat made out of pipe and what would happen if the pipes were capped off. Now, prosecutors alluding to possible research about the pipe bombs and the pipe bomb that killed Triano. Now, listen carefully. Where a compass was used, yes. But you didn't want to be seen as one. That's correct. Okay. And is that why you withheld this information? I didn't withhold that information. I didn't volunteer that information when it wasn't at, the question wasn't asked, and that was part of the reason for it, yes. The defense focused on Young's finances. Rombach said the last time he saw Young, he had to pay for lunch because Young could not cover costs. Defense trying to show that if Phillips allegedly hired Young to kill her ex husband, Correct. Young would have had money. Now, coming up at six, emails and faxes sent between Phillips and Young, plus, What's almost become a trademark for Phillips during this trial? We're live downtown. Corey Marshall, KGUN 9, on your side. Corey, thank you. Well, two